Sean, it seemed like early on um, it was clear the Giants wanted to pressure you guys, bring some blitzes. As an offense as a whole, what can you do? What can you guys? What can you guys do better to kind of combat that? When you know you know teams are gonna send pressure your way, some blitzes. Um, I mean they they switch up the game plan. I think uh, you know you got to give their DC Shane a, a, a lot of credit of doing something different that we you know of course we were expecting you know pressure, but. Um, you know, as much as they brought it, um, you know, you just got to prepare for the worst. And, and they did a good job of trying to create, um, you know, some mismatch and, and different confusion up front to, you know, get us off our timing in the passing game. So, um, you know, for us to try to correct that, you know, we got to win our matchups and, and try to figure out the right protection to figure out what pressures they were doing off the edge to create. And, um, yeah. What happened on that mystic change? Between you and Jerome Ford on that handoff, it was a draw. Okay. Yeah, that, that was it. It was just a draw. So. You, you say they did different things with the with the pressures. I mean, was it amount of pressure they showed? Looks they were giving? No. So the tendencies of coming to this, this is very similar to, um, you know, kind of what Mike Vrabel does. So it was a lot of shell, a lot of quarters, a lot of cover two. Um, a minimum of cover three, um, not very high on pressure team. Um, but, you know, this game, that's what they wanted to do. So they brought a lot more pressure than usual on down the distances that they usually don't bring on first down, especially. Um, you know, second and long is usually just man coverage. But, uh, you know, they played a lot of, you know, man, but brought the pressure with it. You know, a lot of one hole uh, lurk and things like that. So, um, like I said, they did a good job of, of scheming that up. How hard was it to function with three or starting linemen out? Uh, just focus on trying to execute that play. So um, that was that was my job. Is just whoever's out there, uh, just out there trying to you know execute at a high level and try to get the receivers a chance to get them a ball. So wait, Sean, I'm trying to go back to this play, but uh, then on the draw play, why did the exchange not go well? Um, yeah, I just. Did my due diligence, try to hand the ball to him, and after that, uh, I just saw the ball was on the ground. So, What did you see on that fourth and one lead to shot? It looked like you looked right and then had to tuck it and try to scramble. Did you think you got that first time? Uh, I was just trying to reach. I mean, the, the, the play was to RPO, read the mic, or read the wheel, 41. 41 ran with the running back, pull, throw the slant behind it. The slant wasn't there. I guess they had a conclusion. And, you know, just after that, you know, I'm not going to just throw it covered. So try to get the first down was one yard, and they uh, stopped it short. Deshaun, when you watch a game like this, uh, it, it feels like it's, you know, so bad that it would be hard to pull it together and look good the next week. But what makes you confident that you guys are going to be able to overcome a really ugly loss like this? That's a new opportunity. It's a new game. It's a new week. So. That's all. That's all that matters. We go out there and, and get a W next week. No one's gonna worry about this week. So, um, same thing. You know, you look at the Giants. They started 0-2 and got to win this week. No one's gonna be talking about the first two weeks. So, it's always a new opportunity each and every week. I know the, the drive started maybe not how you expected. Like you know, coming the first drive, you know, getting it off of the, the fumble recovery. Was the plan always to, to hit Amari? Was that kind of something like you guys as an offense said, yeah, we're gonna try to hit Amari often, uh, really often. Uh, like I said, you know, last week, the week before, it just depends on how they how the scheme is. Um, they gave a lot of one high, one on one coverage to Amari, so we gave him a chance, and he made those plays. So, um, you know, each and every week is differently. Um, you know, if they would have played how you know we kind of was expecting a lot of shell, a lot of quarters, and things like that, then you know the game could have went differently. But uh, that's just how the game kind of flowed this week. Sean, that last fourth down incompletion to set, I mean, he was very adamant that he felt like he had to make that catch. Like, what do you do as a quarterback when it's a younger receiver, like, so he doesn't get too down on himself? Just early? keep his head up. Um, I told him I was coming to him on that play, too. Um, you know, I gave him that, that, that opportunity. I'm going to give him a chance to make a shot. Um, you know, sometimes it happens like that, you know. And, um, you know, the ball just didn't bounce our way, and, and, and uh, we didn't get to capitalize it. But, you know, I motivate him. Hey, I'm going to keep coming back to you. Oh my guys. So it's a long season. You know, it's only game three. And um, you know, we gotta of course fix things ASAP very, very fast. But at the same time, um, we can't get down on each other because we gotta make sure we keep this team locked in on the task at hand. And um, you know, we gotta keep pushing forward and keep working. Do you 
Amari uh, getting into the end zone two times and having 86 yards and you guys finally connecting, uh, do you, how much does that bode well for the future for you guys to be cranking it up together? Yeah, just keep working. Just keep working. Keep giving them opportunities. Keep giving them balls that he can catch uh, down the field. And, um, yes, yeah, it, it just – Give him a chance. Give him a chance. And you know, I think that's the key as a quarterback, giving all our guys a chance to make plays. And he did that today. And um, definitely want more um, out there. But uh, we just got to keep going. When a team is doing something that you didn't necessarily expect offensively, um, like you mentioned a few times, how hard is it to adjust the protection plan during the game to be able to combat it? We just got to go back to our base rules. I mean, at the end of the day, we still got to win our matchups. That's it. And, um, we, we try to do adjustments, and you know we missed out on a couple opportunities. But again, we just got to continue to just keep adjusting and keep working and trying to figure out you know how we can uh, slow that down. And with all the hits and sacks, how, how did you come out of it physically? I know your look. The TV showed you rotating your arm after one. Of them. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Like I said before, if I if they're not gonna drag me off the field and I don't have to have surgery, I'm gonna be out there and I'm gonna compete to the full to the final whistle. Sean, the, the, the protection up front is compounded by these injuries. Um, to your offensive line, um, one, how do you pick those guys up? Uh, and, and then two, just, you know, your, your concern level going into a week where three of those guys are, you know, they got to get MRIs. I'm never concerned. I'm never concerned. Like I said, I'm going to step on the field. Whoever's out there to file, I'm going to keep working. Sometimes it, it might go our way, sometimes it's not. But I'm a, if I'm standing up, I'm going to keep working, regardless of what people think, what people say, who's out there, whatever it is. That's one thing you're not going to uh, bash me with is my uh, passion of the game and, and, and my work ethic and the way I compete. That's, that's damn sure that. So uh, regardless of that, I'm not concerned about any of that. The biggest thing is just keep, keep encouraging these guys, keep working, get in the film room, uh, figure out what we can do to, you know, figure out, uh, you know, to help these guys out. Um, but help all of us. We we won. We us. So, you know, we're not blaming anybody. We're not blaming all that. You know, there were some throws that I missed that could have capitalized things so um, and helped everything out. So um, all this, all this is, is, is a team effort and is a group. Deshaun, Miles Garrett limped up to the podium, went to the uh, tent twice during the game, is struggling with some foot and leg injuries. Uh, can you just talk about how he's out there battling and does that kind of also – not that you need anybody to inspire you, but um, to, to see him doing that, what impact does that have on you? Yeah, we just want Miles to be healthy and um, be out there and be 100%. And I can't talk on, on the injury. That's that's more Kevin and the team. But, yeah, I mean, he's given everything he got, too. And, uh, you know, we all are at the end of the day. That's one thing um, that this team is going to do is going to compete, you know, even when you're banged up and all that. So. Sean, going off of the offensive line troubles, your starters were kind of getting beat up pretty good before all the injuries had happened. So when they're platooning new guys in there, what was your message to kind of keep everyone on key and kind of keep the confidence going within that offense? Just keep working. Just keep working. That's all you can do. Hey, yeah. We don't have time for my bads and things like that. We just keep working. Next play. On to the next play. And that's all we got next. We can't, can't go back to that last play and do anything about it. You know, it is what it is, whatever result that was. So now we all we can do is focus on the next one that's ahead of us. And that's the next one that's going to get called. So. I don't know which ball that you're talking about. It was a pass up the seam. Pass up the seam. You hit your thighs after. Like yeah, just, yeah, it's just a missed throw, just a missed opportunity. With the last talk one. about picking guys up, Jerome had that fumble when you guys were trying to come back, um, and it looked like he'd been kind of a spark for you guys in that second half. So did you have any kind of conversation with him? I just told him after the game, just says, you know, keep your head up, man, and, and you know, we're going to keep coming to you. We believe in you, and that's all we can do. Um, and, you know, we just got to make sure we fully locked in. Uh, on each and every play, especially when it comes down to that. Um, but he's going to be fine. He's going to come back next week and have a good game. Thank you. Thank you.